The Hisense U8G is an excellent gaming TV, and today I'll be going over a little bit on to why that is. So subscribe, smack a like on this video, because I'm going to be getting to the point right now. Essentially, it's the best QLED slash LED TV on the market right now under $3,000, period. No matter what anyone will say on any other channel, that's just how it is. Now I'm going to tell you why that is, and I'm just, literally, I'm just going to lay it all out there for you. Let's say you look at the Hisense UHG versus the C1. Okay, well, the C1 locks your PS4 slash PS5 settings, and you have no access to things like noise reduction or even motion processing if you wanted to game outside of game mode because you wanted the most smooth representation or you're playing something a little bit more cinematic where input lag is not a priority, you lose those features. And VRR is just ridiculously dim on the C1. So that isn't actually the best gaming TV you can buy right now until they patch that stuff, which you're still waiting for. The Hisense doesn't struggle with any of that stuff. But then you look at something like the Samsung QN85A or the QN90A. Well, the QN85A is a IPS panel. Need I say more? Your black levels are going to be pretty subpar to say the least. And the QN90A, not that much different. In my testing, I found that in game mode, local dimming basically disables and you have a ton of blooming. And that's an understatement, my guys. Like, dude, it's bad, bad. Like, you would be so pissed off for even buying that TV because of how the blooming looks in game mode. And that's what you're buying it for, right? You're buying it to see game mode. Well, the game mode flaw that has been plaguing Samsung for years is still there. Oh, but the party doesn't just stop there because motion isn't particularly smoothed either. And honestly speaking, while colors do pop and everything, the contrast and clarity coming out of the Hisense is way better than anything you're going to have on Samsung. Okay, well then we look at Sony. Sony is just not for gamers right now at all because they claim that they have all this to offer, but in reality, you're still waiting around for the VRR that they promised you like they screwed over the 900H guys. You guys, I feel so sorry for you all. I did warn you though, to be fair, I did warn you. But you know, like at every turn, it's like Sony with their IOU, LG with their grayed out settings, Samsung with their blooming in game mode, and then Hisense comes out and they're just a really well balanced TV. Now to be very fair, they're not perfect. You can still find blooming in game mode, like in Spider-Man Miles Morales, when the load screens come on, at the bottom right hand corner, you will notice blooming. That kind of stuff is normal for this price range though. And honestly speaking, what you're gonna find on the other brands is gonna be a whole lot worse. And even until you get up, even until the top over $2,000 plus TVs at these QLED levels, you are not going to be getting the level of performance that surpasses this Hisense in some great degree. A lot of people have this ignorance like, oh, it's a Chinese company, I don't want a Chinese TV. As their TV was made in Mexico, because spoiler alert, if you own a Sony and a modern Sony, those are made in Mexico. Like seriously, read the back of your TV and nine times out of 10, it wasn't made in a country that you people think that it was made in. Some of these guys out here, I know it sounds weird, really believe that because they bought it in the US, their TV is made in the USA, not realizing like outsourcing is a big thing. And most of the stuff that you have and own is kind of made in China anyway. Now, some people try to say that, you know, Hisense is CCP and all that stuff, and I've looked into it extensively. I can't find a single link to anything like that. I really haven't. But at the same token, it's kind of like, you know, how many U.S. companies have been caught spying on you and been busted for horrible practices, like Samsung, for example? I mean, look at all the lawsuits that they've gotten into. I mean, it, it's just kind of like, eh, we're kind of splitting hairs here, pointing fingers, and it feels like it's an, it's an attempt to under credit and underrate high sense to a level that's just not fair. Because if we really comparatively look at what they're offering on the market versus the competition, high sense trumps everybody. Like they're absolutely flooring them. You have the hands-free voice control with the built-in kill switch. You have support for basically every HDR. You have an anti-glare type screen that works relatively well. You have a premium build quality that you just don't have anymore on other TVs. And then the gaming features are awesome and incredible and immerse you. Now I've still got to run my input lag test, but input lag is generally responsive enough to get the job done and I land some pretty incredible combos if I do say so myself. Even outside of game mode, which really surprised me, because usually outside of game mode, it starts getting a little bit 
harder to land some of the more complex combos, but I don't have any problems on the Hisense U8G. And that says everything to how it was built. I think my message is very simple for this video. If you're somebody that doesn't want to break the bank and put your family in some sort of financial crisis, putting things on a line of credit or on a credit card to pay it off, get the Hisense, dude. Like it's a no brainer choice. It is the only real choice if you want a true quality television. Just be advised there are things that you are going to notice that the other brands don't necessarily struggle with. The biggest weakness with this Hisense right now that I've seen for gaming and usually things with like a lot of gradients to them, it's just banding. Banding is pretty bad on this TV and I just don't have any other word to describe it. That's the one thing that's gonna be a deal breaker for some people. But again, you still do have a lot of that stuff on a lot of the other brands like Samsung, TCL. So again, we are splitting hairs here and nitpicking incredibly like large to a degree. And, and, and it's one of those things where Every person has their answer. Every person's gonna have a TV that they like. If you like OLED, you know you, you're not looking for a QLED. I see some people say that the viewing angles are very important to them. Again, I wouldn't buy an LED television for viewing angles, but I will also say this. This isn't bad like the Vizio Quantum series where you have to sit directly on center and you can't even shift off axis in a couple of degrees in either direction. Otherwise, your screen starts getting really gray and you start losing you know the black levels and the colors and all that this holds pretty well even at some some angles that are less than ideal so it's not an oled at all and i don't recommend off angle viewing because it is bad because it's a va panel which that's just normal with these kinds of tvs but what i will say is again great tv for gaming i had a blast gaming on it and i think you will too but if you have questions specific to gaming let me know in the comment section down below who knows, maybe I'll show some PC gaming off. Maybe I'll show you how vibrant it actually can be with PC gaming. I don't know. I see a lot of claims coming out of people, and one of the ones that really bothered me the most personally, if I'm just being honest, not really starting anything with anybody, I did see what FOMO had to say about gaming, and it really did bother me because this TV is incredibly vibrant, and I'm going to show that off against my Samsung Q8FN, which, by the way, completely trashed the QN90A and QN85A, but I'm going to have to show that in real time. The high sense and the Samsung Q8FN to really show you what this tier of television is because I really don't think people understand how hard Hisense has come out this year and swung towards everybody who has been complacent, namely the big three, LG, Sony, and Samsung. If you're a brand loyalist, I advise you stop and really give Hisense a look this year because they are coming out with some serious image quality. And if you're a gamer, it's kind of a no brainer. But that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. I've got more stuff coming up for the Hisense UHG. Got a lot more to test. Join, subscribe for the journey, man, because we're going to be getting this ball rolling next week. Again, starting back up where we left off this week. But again, I'm going to take some time off, get some rest. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.